Hello friends, I had been struggling the whole day and finally <laughs> around 2 o'clock midnight I have been able to achieve what I was looking for. Can you guess what it is? Well, what you are seeing right now is PG Admin and I have a database. Yes, the name of the database is called eShop but the fact goes is this is not a local database rather this is a database that is hosted in the server and that what I have been trying so if you look at the connection string this is the database name this is the admin username and this is the domain name where my database is directly deployed and that's what I will be showing right now so in this particular database at this point of time if I scroll down and if I go to my table I have a table called products so this products table is there so let's go and check how many rows are there right now inside this product table so select star from product underscore product and a semicolon and I hit enter let me run the code and it will show you that exactly there are two rows sound interesting right and these are all been coming from the cloud yes what you were seeing let me zoom out a bit so this is the record that is coming from the cloud and I will show you the live implementation of this so right now my uh, PG admin is connected with the cloud deployment of Postgres SQL and from there it is fetching this record and that what you are seeing inside the IDE so let me take you to the browser now and here it comes and what should I do well I will take you to my domain so Swaroop app dot and slash Django slash uh, I have written a new route that is called eShop slash API slash products and I hit it and here you see the Django REST framework and that has been what I have been trying for the last couple of days well I have been working on Django but what I wanted is to deploy the Django on the cloud I mean the REST framework on the cloud and not only that I wanted to implement the Postgres SQL on the cloud that is what the big challenge was because we developers we don't have to do all these things to the system guys which I have said in previous videos number of time they have to do these things but you know I am quite uh, interested in the deployment part as well and for that reason it was a real tough time for me so this is the end point where you are seeing these two record and these two record is what exactly we're seeing right over here if you take a note you have got ID1 that is ThinkPad and this is ID2 that is vacuum cleaner don't worry don't worry I know you want you are thinking that Swaroop is just showing the data no not at all I will also show you the admin panel and that is something which is really I was struck with it for a long span of time uh, until uh, a few minutes ago I have been able to achieve it so the end point goes is that this is live you can also try out but the problem is <laughs> can you guess what the problem well you need to have the credential yes so this is the admin panel of Django backend so here I have got the username as you saw and this username is been shown right over here admin underscores for loop so the connection has been completely successful I have to do a lot of things for implementation of this and finally at this hour midnight I have been able to accomplish this so let's log in into the admin panel and here is the admin panel of Django right now as you saw there are exactly two products if I click on this there are two products are there can I add a product of course that's what the beauty of Django as well as the deployment of the cloud so you can try out this URL Swaroop app dot in Django hyphen e-commerce slash API slash product you will be seeing the data but yes since you don't have the credentials of course you won't be able to perform any back-end operation so let me click on the add a product over here and we already saw in the Postgres that there is exactly all right, let me click on the run execute script once again there's exactly two record right it's successfully executed now let's come over here and let's do the beauty so let's go and create one more okay the last time it was iPhone 16 and this time I'll say iPhone 16 Pro and this is fully fully AI based <laughs> I really love AI and that's the reason I'm working on this because that's the reason I've chosen Django so over the prices well this is just priceless so suppose 99,999 
<laughs> and the company is Apple, the category is uh, phone and uh, the rating is like 4.7, not bad, right? So over here the product is, the stock is 5 and the user who is taking care about all this thing is admin Swaru. Remember this is all happening at the live. Well, you will check out many videos where the people have done it at the local environment, but the challenge is when you deploy this thing in the live, that's the beauty. You can do a lot of things in the local environment, that is all absolutely okay, but the thing becomes real tough when you go to the admin level in the form of the live hosting. And since I have got the hosting from the hostinger, so you can choose any of the ISP, that doesn't matter. So let me click on the save button. Meanwhile, and as I do that, bingo! the product iPhone 16 Pro was successfully added and do you know what is the after effect of this? Of course you are pretty intelligent. My viewers are very intelligent, I know that. Let's come to the REST API endpoint and simply click on the refresh button and that brings us to the products that we have just now created. Not only that my dear friend, this is the browser endpoint and even you can see the same thing when you come to the PG admin endpoint and as I do that, here comes the record that record also got displayed over here so that means that means postgres sql has been successfully deployed in the domain and that's the reason why you're seeing this thing well by default django comes up with sqlite but it was not that challenging working with sqlite and i wanted to work with much more challenge stuff and that's the reason i went for postgres sql so configuration of postgres sql deployment of this creating a connection string creating a user connecting with the pg admin so that you can see the endpoint because maybe you like you don't want that every user would get to the domain and will do all the stuff and lastly but not the last the implementation of admin panel trust me it was really really challenging but finally by grace of almighty i could do it successfully and that's the reason what you are seeing in front well i must say that this is just a beginning of a new era in my career a lot of things are going to come up sooner very soon okay so i'm pretty exhausted let me end the video over here uh, you people take care and just keep on watching django take care bye bye good night and before that, <laughs> don't forget to log out. Yes, and that brings me to login back. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Bye-bye. Good night.